Us now, Congresswoman Blaine Lukemeyer and Congresswoman Nicole Meletakis. First, you, Congresswoman, you were on the call with uh, the Ukraine Zelensky. The White House again today saying no to a ban on Russia's oil, trying to blame gas price spikes on Ukraine when gas was moving higher for eight months straight. But it's stopping the U.S. oil industry and then saying yes to oil from Venezuela, Iran, Russia. Can you square this? Can you straighten this out, Congresswoman? Well, I don't think anyone can understand why our president would want to purchase from our adversaries and those human rights violators around the world instead of becoming making this country energy independent. And as you are absolutely right, the gas price went up long before this Russian invasion of Ukraine. It has actually gone up about a dollar seventy. Uh, since he took office and reversed the energy policies of President Trump. He put a ban on new leases. He stopped the Keystone Pipeline. And he created this problem that Americans are facing. Of course, the war is exacerbating that. But it begs the question, why are we not starting today reversing those policies uh, yeah. of President Biden and making sure that we're energy independent? Yeah. National security issue. And Congressman uh, Luke DeMeyer, the, you know, the President Biden keeps saying, make it in America. Well, how about make it in America U.S. energy? How about make U.S. energy terrific, right? right? I mean, so we have this, Congressman, the Washington Examiner reporting, uh, quoting a Justice Department source, there was a plot out of Iran to assassinate former NSA John Bolton, potentially on U.S. soil last year, and that the Secret Service and the FBI were scrambled on that. Now we're talking to Iran in a nuclear deal and talking about more oil from Iran. No, that, no, that makes sense. Uh, as you said, I mean, this, this president, this administration, uh, is hellbent on trying to do everything the wrong way. Uh, Nicole's exactly right. When Joe Biden was elected president, it was $1.89. I filled it up my, my car that morning on his inauguration day. I remember it very well. Uh, and today, it's uh, in my hometown, it's over $3.50. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a big problem. He continues to play footsie <coughs> with a lot of the bad actors around the world. Why? I have no idea. It seems like he's intentionally trying to run our economy into a ditch. Um, uh, we had economists come into one of our committees, the Small Business Committee, a couple weeks ago and talk about the amount of inflation that's caused by energy prices, which is anywhere from 20 to 25 percent of inflation is due to high energy. We can reduce inflation, help small businesses especially, I'm a small business uh, ranker, uh, to be able to, uh, be able to run their businesses, be able to price their products more reasonably, but they can't because of inflation, because of higher energy prices. It all works together and it all starts with, a, with an executive order last year that the president had to stop uh, the Keystone Pipeline and restrict uh, uh, oil permits. Yeah. This can all be undone by him. So why is he not doing Let's... it and running our country 